Hey folks, doing Hero of None here on May 24th, 2019. For your Mondays Minutes. News, Golden Merchant, and not Luxury Merchant stuff. All in a few minutes. So first up in the news is the Luxury Merchant is missing inside Cold Harbor. You won't find him and unfortunately don't know when it's going to get fixed. Uh, as of 8 o'clock tonight, we're not seeing it and that means we're not going to get any Luxury Merchant stuff this week if it's not up. But in better news, elsewhere, it's finally up and it's finally going on. Uh, go ahead and download it and play elsewhere if you've already pre-ordered. Uh, pre if you're on console, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But for us PC fans out there, you're going to be able to get in there, try out Necromancer, explore the sands of elsewhere, and just have a pretty good time. Uh, you can take a look a little bit more on some of each uh, different items on elshowsonline.com. They have a few standard stuff uh, out there from guides to guilds to just character backgrounds and everything else. I do recommend folks get this expansion. I am enjoying it immensely. Meow, meow, meow. Now, next in the Golden Merchant tonight, we actually get to take a look at her. So we have a few things on Golden Merchant that are okay, but not really great. So first up for 150k, Ring of Fire, which is weapon damage, stamina, weapon critical, and when you do weapon damage with the weapon ability, you have 20% chance to do an additional 4,800 flame damage and it can occur every two seconds. Not a great set, uh, especially because it is melee based, as you can see with the weapon damage and stamina, but it's doing flame damage, which you're going to have to have spell penetration to go through the enemy. Since you're going to be trying to go physical damage with other stuff, you would most likely have physical penetration. So this is just not going to give you as much benefit as other proc sets. Vampire Lord's Ring, which is Magicka, Spell Damage, and Spell Critical, and additional 400 Spell Damage to your Vampire Abilities. Reduces the cost of your Vampire Abilities by 5%. Overall, not great. Unfortunately, it, it it makes sense, I guess, but honestly, vampires only have three abilities to their entire sets. You have Misform, which really doesn't do any damage. That spell damage is not going to do anything for it. You have the Drain, which basically sets you stunned. It gets you stunned and the enemy stunned at the same time, unless you weapon swap. And you have the Vampire Bats, which will give you a lot of damage and is pretty useful, but it's only one ability and it's an ultimate. The 5% reduction, again, not really that great. I mean, you can get better things with a, re a better reduction with things like Alteration, uh, Seducer, just everything else. So yeah, just skip the set entirely. Uh, you have Ring of the Sergeant, which is a Weira Sewers set. It gives you maximum health, he uh, health recovery, weapon damage, and increases your damage from your fully charged heavy attacks by 16, uh, 1,634. Not a great set. It's a standard... Uh, it's just only a it's it's only a fully charged heavy attack that's getting raised up by that and it's not a whole lot of damage in general you're going to be using this in pvp you're actually going to actually have to hit with a fully charged heavy attack on a melee weapon not likely unless somebody's going to just uh dodge roll the goddamn time and light attacks are much more more effective for good dps uh for draugr's rest this is uh 250k again Magicka, Magic Recovery, Healing Done, and when you deal damage to Fully Charged Heavy Attack, again, Fully Charged Heavy Attack, you create a, a circle of concentrated ground around you for 5 meters that uh, heals for 11,000 health over 10 seconds. Effect can occur once every 10 seconds. This might be okay in general, but I I'd probably say it'd be better on a Restoration Staff or... A lightning staff because the fully charged heavy attacks again hard to get off inside Cyrodiil but beam type weapons like a lightning and restoration staff have a better chance uh, of getting that proc uh, but remember that's going to be reduced from that 1100 down to half of whatever it's it, whatever it is there so it's going to be like 5500 so it's not a great heal and it's over 10 seconds so it's yeah it's it's Kind of crap. You can do better healing with your own. You probably get better healing just pulling on Giuliano's and having the extra spell damage. Definitely would consider skipping over this. But if you want to get this on regular uh, through regular means, a Bloodroot Forge or I think it's Bloodroot Forge, but it could also be Forward Keep. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's one of those two DLC. It's one of those two from that DLC, unfortunately. So those are the two. 
golden or sorry the four golden rings that you have there now for the shoulders you have dull muscles arm cops stamina magica and then when you deal damage you have 15 percent chance to create a fire ring of molten earth around you which can either do flame or physical damage and then either raise up your spell or weapon damage the two piece on this kind of sucks N not going to be used almost any time that i've ever seen uh the one piece on the other hand is a good uh, is a good split it's, it's stamina and magica and if you're running something like a tri set uh, you can work you can work off with this pretty good uh put this with the new frost vault uh helmet and you can have a good time but it's shoulders and you might want to run impenetrable for this you can go ahead and spend that 20k of ap points so if you really want it you can get it otherwise i would just gamble with keys to be honest earth core another good met another good meta set uh which gives you four percent healing done and when you heal yourself or an ally you have 50 under 50 percent health you create a pool of blood uh immediately removing all previous uh, place effects and healing the lowest health health friendly target for 28k damage now this has actually gotten nerfed since this patch but it's still pretty meta if you're going to try soloing against enemies and 1vxing still a great set because it still heals a good amount of thing uh, a good amount of damage and also removes effects on top of you uh if do you want do you really want to get the shoulders I, I guess if you don't have any keys left and you don't want to gamble maybe get it for the impenetrable uh if you're trying to get it for pve you might want to do it as well but remember pve you're probably going to switch that infused over to advines or some other set like maybe sturdy if you're running on a tank so it, it's up to you if you want to get it I can't really recommend you getting shoulders for this stuff, though. Anyways, that's Hero of None. That's the Mundus Minutes. Hope you all enjoyed. See you in elsewhere. Yeah,